Konami saved the secondary market. As one of the world's largest trading card games, Yu-Gi-Oh! has built a reputation over the years as a valuable commodity. Powerful cards, printed in short quantities, will inevitably create a secondary market. These markets set value and facilitate the trade and sale of all Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. It is widely known that Konami has no control over these markets or its prices. And furthermore, Konami has never acknowledged this marketplace of monsters, spells, and traps. However, under the heavy storm of a global financial crisis, Konami waged war on those who sought to destroy this humble institution. You may know the story of Konami v Upper Deck, but you do not know the story of a lesser fiend that needed destruction. This story involves the strategic maneuvers of Konami and a significant, if not mysterious player, vintage sports cards. We will delve into the complexities of this saga and uncover how Konami not only navigated through the tumultuous waters of this predicament, but also played a key role in reshaping the landscape of trading card game economics for all time. Understanding the vintage sports card saga requires acknowledging the backdrop of Konami's legal altercation with Upper Deck. The high stakes battle revolved around unauthorized production and distribution of counterfeit Yu-Gi-Oh cards, a blatant infringement to Konami's intellectual property. The lawsuit's resolution set a pivotal precedence, emphasizing the importance of authenticity and the legal consequences of counterfeiting in the collectible card game arena. This case not only highlighted the legal ramifications of this, but signified the crucial role of authenticity in the world of trading card games. Amid the Konami Upper Deck legal fray, another issue surfaced thrusting vintage sports cards into the limelight. The discovery of counterfeit rare Yu-Gi-Oh cards in repackaged packs sold by vintage sports cards to mainstream retailers. But it will not be shiny all over the place. That's it. And you all know this card right here the from the picture. It's Jinzo. Well, the name of the card that they put on here is Man-Made Electronic Robot. And we all know it's called Jinzo. These counterfeits, distinguishable from genuine cards due to their inferior quality, revealed a disturbing breach in the distribution and retail segment of the Yu-Gi-Oh card market, raising questions about the integrity of the distribution networks and the authenticity of the products. Konami's response to this emerging challenge was swift and decisive. Following a lawsuit against vintage sports cards, Konami accused them of knowingly participating in the distribution of counterfeit Yu-Gi-Oh cards. This video has been brought to you today by The Duelist AI. The Duelist AI is the world's first suite of competitive trading card game AI that can help you duel in the games of Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel, Duel Links, and even Magic the Gathering. Go ahead and check us out in the GPT store or at the link in the description at DuelistGPT.com. The lawsuit against vintage sports cards extended beyond a mere fight against counterfeiting. It represented a battle for the trust and confidence of the Yu-Gi-Oh community. This case highlighted a growing concern that in the trading card game industry, the aftermarket was vulnerable to deceptive practices. It underscores the crucial role that distributors and retailers play in the maintaining of the sanctity of the trading card market and the potential consequences when this trust is breached. This lack of closure has contributed to an atmosphere of uncertainty and speculation regarding the current status of vintage sports cards. The questions linger. Are they still in operation? Have they changed their name 
to a different vendor continuing their same practices under a new alias? Or have they become a cautionary tale in the annals of trading card game history? Only time will reveal. The absence of definitive information casts a long and ominous shadow over the legacy of vintage sports cards, symbolizing the unpredictable and often hidden turmoil beneath the surface of the trading card game industry. Its narratives resonates an unsettling echo, emphasizing the importance of vigilance and integrity in a market driven by authenticity and passion. Duelist, YT Dan has returned with more content than ever. Live streams, stimulating video documentaries, AI dueling technology, and much more. Subscribe for more content. Watch the next video.